How do you evaluate when to continue a project and when to kill it? Uh, I don't think I've ever killed a project. Um, I think typically you either run out of money or time uh, or, or the project evolves into something else. Um, I've had projects killed on me as a consultant. Uh, and and um, I can think of at least three or four examples of that. And they've always had nothing to do with the product. It's actually really interesting. They, almost had, they always had stuff to do with organizational change. Um, quarter after quarter profits uh, lead to organizational reorganizations, uh, which lead to uh, what could be very effective, useful, and informative products getting killed. Um, because the new organization doesn't support them, because the strategic imperatives have changed, because the team that was working on them is now dissolved, all of which are artificial reasons and not, not very good uh, ideas, um, because they're all driven by, by dividends. Um, and, and so maybe like if there's a lesson in there, it's like don't take your company public. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but it's funny because like, uh, even within these organizations where you have almost total buy-in from, from people all the way down the chain, uh, they still bemoan the death of their products. And it's like, look, they see the value of it. They're, they're not in a position organizationally to fight for it. Uh, and so, so the product gets killed.